Well, I just took the pressure gauge off of this thing and this sucker is bone dry. Well, it's not bone dry, but it definitely had an air pocket in there. I think the air pocket explains why it cooled down so rapidly, but yet took so long to heat up. Strange. I'm assuming that these check valves just leaked on me. They're very hard to get tight. So yeah, I seem to have still been hitting a thousand PSI's. Another thing that may be going on is it's quite cold out here. So it may have shrank a little bit from that and receded back into there. Very strange. So I'm going to put a better gauge on this, one that can actually be read. This is a good gauge, but it's damaged, so I'm going to try something bigger. Like about a hundred seventeen degrees. Pretty swift reaction. There was definitely air in there last time. Man, we're at a thousand psi already. I really don't want to bring that above a thousand psi right now. Pretty swift reaction. thousand PSI's never did get a cold reservoir temp man it's bad lighting it's like about 60 degrees Wish you could see that. There we go. Okay. Try and experiment with warm water. At around 110 degrees. Yeah, 115, I think. 116. Let's try to cool it down with warm water now.
warm water was cooling it off just as fast as cold water. Now it's acting like it's got an air bubble in it again. Okay, we're at about 80 degree water now. I bet this cools it off just as quick. Yeah, the water's cooling off. Call that wet. Yeah, it might seem a little slower.